All right, here we are. How many kilometers have we done so far, Brett? 36.78. Brett's just run from Melbourne yeah. through the western suburbs, and now we're out in, I guess you could say nowhere. Middle of nowhere. It's quite rural. Very rural. You tell the viewers at home in your own words what you're yeah, doing. Right. Well, I'm running from Melbourne to Perth, 3,300 kilometers. Only 3,200 and... 64 to go <laughs> and I'm running for these guys the Bully Zero Australian Foundation so we're raising money for them and awareness so this is the first day of Brett's journey day how many, one how many days is it 30 uh between 35 and 40 so we're just under five hours in um so we've just been waddling we had a lot of traffic lights and that so now we've got open road which is kind of nice and starting to deal with the flies yeah they suck yeah. so that's our day today we're just you know up early this morning Getting it done, punched out the KMs. I'm doing some video recording. Yeah, we're actually making a documentary. We so, are. Um, next year, middle of next year, we'll get it out. Website, brettherrier.com. Nailed it. Facebook, Instagram, Brett Every Step. Brett's plural. It's two Brett's, of me. Brett's Every Step. <laughs> like it, share it, love it. All right, if you haven't picked up on it yet, we normally go skating on Saturday, mountain biking on Sunday. So today it's Sunday. Jason's pumping up his tyres, he wants to try this rail. Chase has been wanting to do it for a while now and finally he has the courage. <laughs> no. I need a warm up. I'll follow you. You're going, you're going up the hill mate. Then mate for going down hills. Dude the road's closed. Quick story, last week on Friday, I was washing the dishes at work and <laughs> I broke a glass when I was washing the dishes. So I cut my hand open again, only a couple of weeks before. I cut my finger open and I just keep cutting my hand. So yeah, that's why I've got a big bandage on my hand. But let's see it, Jason. I'm really nervous, it happens every time. I'm gonna do one more. Practice early and then probably try board slide it. But my concern is because it goes downhill and then it kind of has this like weird flat step in just before you want to take off. Because so. I'm gonna I'm gonna go past again because I'm gonna go to church. You, you want to go down to Q, a hybrid grove. The church is on, starts at 5 o'clock, and then afterwards, 6 o'clock, instead of barbecue, they're having pizza, pizza delivered, um, um, oh, what pizza, um, yeah, are you in for pizza? Love pizza. Alright, I will, um, let them know. Give, make sure you go up the hill and, yeah. We might see you there then. The queue. What'd you fall off for, mate? Went too fast, mate. Too much speed. Slow it down. Take a second. Great job. Do a better one. He's done his board side. He's warmed up. He's gone for his real trick now. Can he do it? First spot knocked out. Jason did his trick. He's really excited. That was his first backside trick on the handrail. Uh, now we are going to get some sort of food, eat it, enjoy it. Then we are going to a new little BMX track that we saw on Instagram. We don't know where it is. <laughs> we don't know where it is. Look at that guy's hat. <laughs> All right, so this BMX track is apparently in this park, right? In this park. 
is massive. It's like, Jason, it's gonna kill me, mate. Yeah, the park's really big, so we don't know where exactly these jumps are, but we're heading down to this little trail to see if it's here, but it's not looking good at this stage in the game. So um, we just walked down this hill to find the jumps and they weren't here. Now we're going to walk back up. But we may have just seen two people fornicating the next generation on the foreshore. <laughs> <laughs> it was really quite sweet, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> That was so much harder than we thought it would be. <laughs> there were so many tries to get that right. But we did it in the end, right Jason? Now, oh yeah, PS. So we couldn't find the BMX track anywhere. This place is huge. All right, so if you're wondering what I was riding, it's a new MBS all-terrain longboard. It's got these crazy wheels. You can ride it on pretty much anything, just like a mountain board. And you can even do kick clips like this. Oh. Could you say it's all-terrain? You could say it's all-terrain. <laughs> <laughs> bye, bye, MBS, bye. <laughs> <laughs> Retirement plan for Dylan. Oh, I left the sunglasses. I'm really enjoying this new GoPro. How's this for a 2K selfie? Skyline shot. <laughs> We've been driving around for a little while trying to find some spots. But uh, yeah, Jason took us to this spot that I thought was good, but it wasn't good. But I ended up finding this sick little... We're just trying to get the last little bit of sunlight here. We thought we'd call into the skate park. This is Heidelberg skate park. Jason's here. Oh, I'm here. Jason's trying to trick. Board side. Jason, I've got a really good idea for the vlog. Oh, what is it, Dylan? Oh, what is it, Dylan? It is... Uh, <laughs> Board side trick tip. 
it's a board side trick tip. <laughs> <laughs> so enthusiastic, here we go. First tip is strap in. <laughs> Step one. That's quite an obvious tip trick. Second. Um, second. What kind of position are well, you in? Well, we want to line up with the rail, so. Do you want to fly up to next to the rail or an angle? You want to, I like to come out on an angle. Yes, everyone's a little different, but usually on the street, you're never gonna have a perfect run at it straight. So come out on a little bit of an angle. Um, you want to bend your knees. And initially I like the spot where I'm gonna get onto it. And then once I'm onto the rail, I'll look at the end of the rail and fingers crossed, I'll make it. And well, a good tip you is balance? from uh, our mate, Andy James, he... Uh, Real name's Andy Milankovic. Yep. Um, he always said to look at the end of the rail, which sort of helps you balance out. Because um, you usually be scared and not want to look at the rail or where you're going, because I know I do that. But um, if you look at the end of the rail, it usually helps you to balance out. Um, but you sort of want to get onto it and lean a little bit forward, so you're not flying back. If you thought this was useful, <laughs> let us know. Add Jason on Instagram, at Jason Salatech. He just posted a sick new photo actually of him jumping off a roof, which was in last week's vlog. All right, Jason. All right, here we go. Board Step five. one, strapped in. Step two. I hope this footage is uh, bright enough. I'm really testing this GoPro 5 uh, low light performance out on these shots here. It is very, very dark. All right, here we go. Jason bought side again. Any final thoughts on how to board side? All right, so recap. Look where you want to pop on. Get onto the rail. Make sure you're leaning forward, knees are nice and bent. Look at the end of the rail because that's obviously where you want to go and that'll keep you nice and balanced and square over the rail and pop her out once you get there. Yeah, and, um, if you have the opportunity, uh, try and set up a little rail on, on some grass. That's yep. probably a bit safer and a bit easier, a bit better for your confidence. But if not, try it at the skate park, I guess, or in your own privacy of your own home. Now I'm just talking for the sake of talking. Well, I think that's a wrap on this week's vlog. Um, yeah, let's get Maccas. We're not getting Maccas. Yeah, we are. Until next week, goodbye.